this is pretty cool. Sorry, I, uh, I, this is the first time I've gotten the two cars together. I have to pinch myself a little bit. So what I'm running into, and this is gonna sound ridiculous, uh, but um, I don't drive the cars as much because I've got a bunch of them, All right? So um, I promised myself I wouldn't end up with five cars, and now I somehow ended up with six. And so what I'm finding, especially in the winter, I'm finding the GT3 uh, will sit for a couple of weeks because I'm driving the Civic or I'm driving the GT4 and vice versa. Uh, and so I'm, I, the other day I found the GT4 was having a hard time starting. Uh, and then I just got in and it said, you know, battery protection mode was enabled. So I really got to get a trickle charger on the car. When I first got my GT3, I knew that's something I needed back in 2014 but I just didn't, um, I didn't feel like the last couple of cars I needed it because I drove the car once, twice, three times, five times a week, uh, and I haven't been doing that as much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, I have one for each car, uh, but I'm gonna put a little C-Tech whip on each car because otherwise you have to open it up, pop the cover off, and then connect it to the battery. Uh, so instead, I'm gonna show you how I do this. I did this on my 2014, I did this on my I think I did this on, I don't think, yeah, I don't think I've done it on any of the other cars. So anyway, I'm gonna put this whip on there, show you how to do this. Unfortunately, they don't sell a shorter version. This is uh, uh, like seven or eight feet, eight, eight feet, two inches of uh, cable, which we don't need that much. We're gonna have to tie it up. I'm gonna show you how to do this on both the GT4 and the GT3. I figured why not make a video since how often you get two awesome cars like this together. Let's do it. So in case you're wondering, the way I delineate the two, well, the GT4 key has a front trunk, front trunk and rear trunk. The GT3 only has front trunk, uh, but I have a silver and then red. I really wish they made it in green so I could get this, but this is a GT3 RS, like a 997 GT3 RS key strap. Don't ask me how much it costs, but uh, I've got a gray one for the GT4 and a red one for the GT3. So I can keep it straight. Let's pop these open, and I'm pretty sure they should both be identical. It should be the same setup on each inside of the area here. Leaves. So we pop this open. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, I don't know what the knack of ducks, how that's going to work. Shoot. I might have to just kind of punch it out the side here. But normally I'll let the little whip sit. So how did he do that when we were on camera? He like flipped this thing up. How did that work? I mean that, yeah, this one, I knew this one didn't have that. It like blew my mind. There was like a little tab that you hang. Yeah, the GT3 doesn't have that. Let's see on the GT4. Yeah, see, this has this little drip rail, and so we'll poke out the little whip right here so we can plug it right in. Yeah, I knew I wasn't crazy. So this one has a little thingy that you just hang right there like that. And I, my mind was explo exploded because I'd never seen that. And uh, sure enough, the GT3 doesn't have that. I just thought I never discovered that. Anyway, okay. All right, so you got positive and negative. These are 10 millimeters. It's kind of weird using my old craftsman stuff. I don't do much work out here anymore. All right, so here's what the whip looks like, or I guess the, the first start. And this, see, this isn't, isn't quite long enough to reach, you know, from the battery. And that's why we need the darn eight foot extension that we'll have to tie up under here. Uh, but it's nice to have this set up. That way you can quickly connect your charger, and I'll show you the trickle charger here in a minute. And you could do uh, really any brand, but SeaTac is kind of the, the brand that Porsche uses, and it's the one that I just came, became accustomed to using on these. Like if you go to Porsche, the, the dealer, and you buy a charger, you would buy a, a SeaTac. So let's see if we can't. Just put this. Yeah, see the negative, there's no place to put it. I think what I did before 
rather than bending this out of the way, see it's set up so that this, this nut doesn't come off. I think what I did in the past, is so I'm just gonna clip this and then put it in between. You should be able to do that. So, I think what I'll do, I'm gonna make this look as clean as possible. Let's attach this at the positive side first. So the positive side has this little, little spot that works nicely. So then the negative, I'll snake down underneath here this and then you can pull this apart a little more if you need to I'll bring this around here snake this underneath the wire and then bring it like this so then let's just do one of these deals So can you get that? And then I don't love how that's sticking up though. So we'll bend it down like that. Make it look decent. There we go, that looks good. Okay, let's set that aside. And we've got a little piece here. We don't need this anymore. Giant eight foot cable. Okay, so we only need a few inches of this, but this is what we got to work with. Take a wire tie off and get a zip, some zip ties. The tricky part on the RS is again, this is a NACA duct. So I might bring the whip up here on this car. On the GT4, I'm gonna bring it right out here, but I don't wanna affect the brake cooling or anything like that on this car. So let's, um, See about doing this like this. So that clips in will stay in there permanently. And I'm gonna tuck this down and around. Actually, I'm gonna put the bulk of it behind the battery. And just bring the cable down and around the, the uh, cabin air filter box. Let's see if I can get that. Nope. That's good. Tuck that down in there. And I think I wonder if I can just sit it like right here. We'll see. all this down in here so you can't see it so now let me take a look at what our cover looks like first of all shoot that cover that I cut off what do I do with that so let's take this piece, a little cover, and put it on here. That way, 
I'll keep water out. Back on there. All right, let's see if that works. This back on here. So, let's see, do I want it there? Or would I rather just poke it out here? Yeah, I like it sitting right there, just like that. It's kind of tucked in here, so it's not going to slide around. I've got the little cover on, so I can just reach in here and pop it up. And so let me show you the charger, show you why I'm doing this. I should have shown you that in the beginning. So the whole concept here is so I don't have to do anything. Take my charger. I set the charger on the ground here. This is the AGM style 7002, CTEC 12 volt 7002. And I just take this, pull my whip out, and plug it in. Just like that. Cool. So, or I'd rather have it sitting I'm gonna grab a lighter and melt that back together yeah I'm dreaming all right okay car number one done let's do new car number two so this one we are going to bring right to here there we go, that was a little smarter to do it that way. So I have my cover on my, on my extension. Okay, so let's do the same thing here. So let's snip the black. take as much off or unscrew this far, unbolt this far. Just enough to slide that puppy in there. And just bend it down without breaking it. You can see this is a pretty simple little project, but will make your life easier in the future and make you make it so that it's convenient and it make me trickle charge my batteries and not avoid it from having to open up the whole cover here and all of that. Instead, now we're set up and ready to go. quicker and easier. <clears throat> Bringing this around this way. I usually do zip tie it to this line here. I don't want this. I don't want this thing falling down inside and disappearing. But I also don't want to pull this over the car. I'm going to pull the the SeaTech charger will come over the car. And usually I'll just lay a towel here if I felt the felt the need. Okay, so that's all good. It's back in place. Take this. That guy just camps out right there like that. And it's ready. 
Boom. So then, on this car, again, so this is the this is the SeaTac. Multi US 7002. The main thing is this is the AGM version. And then you would just take this, usually any way that we needed, pull the little cover off. Boom, plugged in. And you can kind of put this however you need. And that's it. Boom, project done. So we'll link the part numbers in the description. And uh, that's a nifty little Porsche project to make your life easier in the future. It took even less time than I thought. Even required a little fabrication there on, uh, on the part of the uh, little rubber stoppy thing. All right, that's a wrap. Uh, more GT4, GT3 comparisons coming. I wanted to wait till I had some time. I got about 1,200 miles, 2,600 miles on each car. So I have some time in the seat and uh, we can start doing some start doing some more comparison stuff on the uh, on the cars but anyway thanks for watching and i uh, hope this is useful not so much as an entertainment video but more for uh my porsche viewers that have these cars just a neat idea that i picked up shoot years ago back on my uh, carrera s and um uh, this is a common ren list forum a uh, little little hack that you put the little extension and whip and uh and that way you can just plug in nice and easily so anyway thanks for watching Catch you on the next one.